couple seconds ago when I tried this, but now we seem to be okay. So that's good. Um, today, what we're gonna do, so just bear with me for a second. Go. So we're gonna do a uh, much requested, much uh, demanded, uh, simple, basic tutorial on uh, making my noodle soup that I like to make a lot and have been tweeting and Instagramming and whatever else thing about so much. Um, we're gonna make it today so you guys can see how very easy, at least in my opinion, it is to make. And then you can, I don't know, go make it yourself if you want to because it's pretty straightforward, super easy. And uh, yeah, we'll, uh, we'll show you how from start to finish. Uh, and yeah, after that we'll do a regular stream probably of some sort. So, without further ado, I'm assuming people will kind of trickle in as we, uh, as we go here. So let's go ahead and switch the old camera. Now this is going to be heavily scuffed because I only have one hand to work with. I might try to like prop the phone up somewhere at some point, but or maybe like just hold it under my chin. But then I can't really talk and you guys are going to like fall out. Ugh. Yeah, I'm definitely gonna drop my phone and it probably wiggles like crazy if I tuck it in there So that's not gonna work. So we're just gonna one hand this thing which is gonna make it a little bit tricky But that's okay I'm sure we'll be fine. So what we want to do first is we want to go in here. We want to get water Because we're gonna use this to boil the noodles Close the fridge Into the pot right here. So we don't want very much water just like a little bit, enough to uh, submerge all the noodles once we have it all set. Because this is also gonna turn into the broth of the, uh, of the noodle soup. So I got a pretty small pan here. This is like my hand for comparison. So you know, it's about a little taller than my hand, maybe not, uh, you know, not too large. And then we want it maybe half full because we just want to put the noodles in there when we're done with water. Put this back in the fridge. There we go. So that's back there. So I've done a little bit of preparation here. We have our bok choy lined up. We already got out all of our seasonings and stuff. So we can kind of fire that up. But main thing is we want this to, uh, to be boiling. So my stove heats up pretty quick. So we'll do that in a second. Um, I like to put some form of protein in this so it's not just noodles and bok choy and seasonings. Um, I also like to have a protein source of some sort. So I've recently been using ground beef that I had left over. We're out of that. So what we're going to do instead is I'm going to fry an egg, just a nice regular flat fried egg. We're going to cut it into little strips so it's easier to eat with chopsticks. And we're just going to put all that into the noodle soup when it's done. I think that's going to be a pretty tasty. So I'm going to go back into the fridge here, go down, grab an egg. Egg is good. Probably just one egg. I don't really want like a huge amount of egg. Um, so let's go ahead, grab our handy dandy spatula. This is so hard with one hand. Not hard, I guess, but perhaps annoying, you could call it. Grab that. Sorry about the vibrations. I should probably put my phone on like do not disturb mode or something when I'm doing this. You probably have a little mini earthquake whenever I get a notification. Oops. So we'll get a little dab of butter. We'll put that in the pan. We're gonna turn the pan on. For an egg, I'd like to do just like, you know, little below medium. So like if your stove goes up to like a 10, I usually put it on like a four. Mine is the electric stove, so it heats up really, really fast, which is nice. Um, Wash the butter off my fingers. Don't mind the coffee thermos. That's from work. I haven't cleaned that up yet. We're gonna save dishes for later because I'm lazy and hungry. We wanna eat first. So we'll wait for that butter to melt. We will then crack the egg, put the egg in there, fry that up. But once the egg is like on the way, we'll probably start this up um, so that we can uh, have it all kind of be ready in the same time. Uh, so what we'll do instead, we'll move the blender. We'll get out nice noodle bowl and in here we're gonna craft our soup base which 
is nothing fancy. So what we want to add first, um, and I do it in a specific order, because uh, you want you know least to most. Um, so I have this uh, pure sesame oil. Uh, it's a big old tub because it was on sale at the time. So you know I use this instead of olive oil in a lot of cases. So take that off. Again, kind of difficult with one hand. But it's kind of like a weird system because you have to like reach in here and pull open this tab and you get like a little nozzle and you get a little, you know, bit of sesame oil on your fingers no matter what, which is a little annoying, but we want to put that in the bowl. Um, we don't want very much sesame oil. Sometimes you get really oily, greasy noodles. So even just like a tiny little dab is plenty. I mean, even, even what I put in there might have been a little bit too much. Again, kind of hard to uh, deal with one hand. Put that back. We are now done with this. I'm gonna rinse my hands off again. You guys will see that a lot. I'm pretty, uh, pretty obsessive on having nice, clean, non-dirty hands. So we can grab our sesame oil, put that back in the cupboard here, or pantry, I guess. I'll call it. Back with my backup spices. Close the door, butter's melted, so we're gonna stir that around with the uh, spatula here. Make sure we have a nice even coating on the bottom of the pan so we don't stick the egg to it. All that good. Grab our egg, put this in here. Now I'll probably have a lot of, a lot of haters in the chat for my uh, my method of cooking eggs, but uh, this is the kind of egg that I kind of like the most and it's definitely going to work the best for what we're doing with it. Egg goes there, wash the egg stuff off, you can see this a lot during the stream I'm sure. And to make just like a flat egg that we can then cut into strips and put into a noodle soup, we're just gonna break that yolk. We're gonna just stir it all around. For those of you who are curious, this is also the exact kind of egg patty that I make when I am making my breakfast wrap. Pretty much every morning I will have this unless I'm like running late and I have cereal or something. So just get it all nice and stirred up. Just leave that there. We're gonna wait for this to solidify and we'll cut it into little slices. So we'll put the lid on there so it solidifies a bit faster. Um, probably turn that down just a smidgen. And now we'll start this boiling. Um, so on my stove, I've got two sides. One has like just the, uh, just the center and one has like the uh, center and outside, like split differential or whatever. I don't know, whatever it's called. Um, so we'll do just the center just because my pot's really small. So we'll turn that on to high. Cover that so it boils. I'm gonna do a first person push up, which I think is definitely a first for this here channel. So there we go. You can see me. We're on the floor at Proven. And push up. Okay. And back to the cooking. So um, while the water's boiling, the egg is cooking, we're gonna finish our soup base. So what we're gonna do now, we're gonna grab some of this, which is Qingyan vinegar. It's like a black vinegar. Um, this is not something that you 100% have to put in here. I think it adds a very tasty little tang and I am really a big fan of vinegar in general. So uh, that's why I like it. So I'll take that, but uh, oops, nice one, just right on my hand. Uh, you don't want very much of this at all, so you want a little bit more than you do of the sesame oil. But just something like that is probably good. You don't want to be, you know, overpowered with vinegar and have it just be like crazy, crazy strong. So now we're done with this. We can put that away, but we'll also, before we get there, we'll add soy sauce. I'm running it a little bit low on it, but I think we should have plenty. Um, Take that off, pour this in here. So this is what you want the most of compared to the other stuff, just so it's kind of like drowns out the other, well not drowns out, but like so that's the majority of the flavor. So you want about that. If I were to put my finger in here, it'd probably be like, you know, up to like halfway up my pinky nail or something, because the rest is just gonna be water from the soup or from the uh, noodles that we cook. 
I'll put that back in. Wash my hand again because I touched the spatula. Okay, egg is progressing, water is eventually boiling. We'll put these two away right back into the fridge here. Careful fridge door. There we go. Okay, so now, um, while we're waiting for the water and we're waiting for the egg, uh, we will wash our bok choy. So, I'm not super thrilled with this bok choy because it's like kind of faded and a little limp because it uh, just goes stale in the fridge so fast and it's very annoying, but uh, is what it is, I suppose. So I'm gonna try and put this right here. And wow, that really, if that was just on like a slightly higher angle. Uh, how am I gonna, oh wait, I think I have it. I think I have it, guys. Just hold on. Oh, look at that angle. Nice one. Okay, so we're gonna get the bok choy. We're gonna split it off. Um, with the bok choy, you gotta be careful because there's dirt likes to hide on the inside of the little shell here, so you gotta rinse it off nice and thoroughly. See, you can tell there's a lot in that one. This is bok choy from Safeway, and the bok choy I got from, from TNT, which is like a, the local Chinese grocery store, was, uh, was much nicer. But when you buy bok choy there, it's like a huge bag, and I could not in any way, shape, or form finish all of it before it started to go bad, so it's kind of unfortunate. It's like damned if you do, damned if you don't kind of situation. But, you know, we make do. Just take all those little guys off. Uh, I usually don't eat the core because it's kind of like, you know, usually gets a little bit, uh, bit yellow and, and uh, limp the quickest. It's pretty dirty down in there anyway, so don't eat this, just toss this. The rest we are going to rinse. So we'll get a little bit of water going. Just a nice steady stream. Check the column doesn't fall in the drain. And just rinse these guys off. Like I said, make sure you pay close attention and rinse the inside of the uh, of the stem there. Just get all the little crevices of the, uh, the leaves. It ended up being quite a bit of bok choy, more than I kind of thought, but uh, that's fine. It does shrink when you uh, when you boil it, because we we're going to throw this in with the noodles. Okay, the egg is almost done here. We're going to finish with the bok choy, and then we're going to quickly zip over and deal with the egg. Boy, this would just be easy if I had like a chest cam or something. Maybe I should invest in one of those for future IRL streams. Not that I planning on becoming a full-time IRL streamer or anything like that, but maybe one day. I just want to make sure we have all the little nooks and crannies, crevices, all this here bok choy, make sure there's no dirt, you don't want some dirt noodle soup, you want bok choy and egg noodle soup. Okay, we'll call that good for that. Drawing off my hands here, oh my god, that egg is... Needs to chill. Okay, so this we're gonna turn off because I think, well, actually, no, we'll, we'll turn it just to very low over here. Um, we'll take this off. That egg is good and done, but we wanna make sure both sides are kind of cooked, so we'll, uh, oh, this is gonna be hard with just one hand, huh? Come on. It's kinda, okay, let's, uh, Angle this kind of so you can kind of see, but I need to hold the pan. Oh my god, gotta stay flat, dude. Stay flat. This pan is like pretty old, so it kind of sticks a little bit. But there we mostly got it. Okay, so this is pretty much perfect how you want it, at least if you're me. So um, I don't think I'm gonna cover it back up. I think we're just gonna leave it sit here. We'll probably we probably turn it all the way off at this point. So we just have like a nice sort of flat egg. Um, that we can then cut into little strips and then that way it's nice and easy to put in the soup and soak and eat with chopsticks which is our tool of choice for this kind of stuff. Um, so that's going to chill there. Uh, we'll probably maybe take it over to the cutting board and cut it up when the time comes. Uh, but for now, we're actually chilling. We are uh, making good progress with this stuff. Um, 
So as soon as the water starts boiling, then we can, uh, we can put the noodles in. What, I, what we can do, actually, is kind of organize the noodles. What I'll usually do is I'll just hold the bag and grab them out and put them in the, uh, the pot all kind of uh, at once right in front of it. But since I'm dealing with one hand here, we're going to try not to make a disastrous mess. And we're just going to I'm done with this lid. So we can put that over here in the sink to be washed later. Um, so we can kind of just like take the noodles out and just set them here while we uh, wait for the water to boil. So for noodles, it's very easy to go overboard. Oh, we have one final ingredient for our soup base. So help me remember to do that after this. Uh, it's very easy to go overboard and like get too many because like, you know, you think it's not that many because it's just like, oh, it's just a, just a little handful. But those, that handful like expands and gets bigger and it's usually a lot more than you think it's going to be. So you don't want to like, you don't want to have eyes bigger than your stomach when it comes to noodles, even though they're very delicious and it's like my favorite thing ever. I'm trying to, trying to be healthy here and not overeat. So we're going to get that all organized. So this is, uh, it's quite a bit of noodles, I would say. I don't know if I'd want to, uh, to ever do much more than this. Well, see, I do this every time. Maybe I'll just, maybe just, just a little, just a little bit more, you know, just a little bit more, just a couple more, because I just think that's like one more bite and that's going to be delicious. But no, we're going to stop there. That's good. That's good. That's enough noodles. So now we'll grab this. We're done with these. We'll put this back in the pantry, right back in there, close that. Now we wait, and then now for the final ingredient for our delicious looking soup base here, we have some of this chili in oil. It's just like store-bought chili oil. Um, so it says vegetarian, it has little pickled veggies and like peanuts and stuff in there. It's really tasty, pretty unhealthy. It's definitely not as good as a as a homemade chili oil or something like that, but that is tough and takes a lot of work and I've only done it like once with the assistance of a friend and yeah, that was that was hard. So, um, okay, this is kind of tough. Come on, come on, man, okay. Just imagine, just guys, imagine that I'm opening the, uh, the container right now because the lid kind of sticks. Okay. So I've got that there, got it open. Look at that delicious, delicious chili oil. Mm, mm, mm. Chili crisps slap, I agree. Big time. So we need chopsticks. And we're just gonna grab just a, just a healthy little chunk in here. Nothing too crazy. Just a little, little bit of seasoning. Missing like the little little chunks, which I kind of want a couple of those, so we'll get just a little bit more. Put that in there. Love that brand. Yeah, I heard this is like the most famous brand in China. So like, if your local grocer has it, then that's the one you should get. So now we just stir that in. Now we have our sesame oil, our uh, soy sauce, our vinegar, and now we've got our chili oil. So that is good. Dunzo. Sounds like our water is boiling. Lao Ga Ma is the name. Well, there you go. Learn something new every day. So that is boiling. So what we can do now is turn this down off of a boil. I usually like to keep it around like medium to, to medium low um, for doing the noodles. Okay, and this part is kind of tricky because these are all like varying lengths. And I don't, you don't want to like drop it on the hot stove top, otherwise it starts to burn. You have like the little chunks and stuff like that. So let's, oh, yikes, that almost went right down the uh, crack in the middle. Okay, so we'll just drop that right in there. It's pretty much impossible to do that without losing one or two and then having the little scraps back here just drop in. Little noodle chunks. Okay, so now we want to stir this up. So it's a little tricky to get the hang of, but you kind of want to like bend it in a corner. At least this is what works for me. There's probably better ways of doing this, but. So these noodles, um, they go soft really quickly in the boiling water. So like, see these guys down here are already kind of like, you know, maneuverable. So I just kind of like keep twisting it in a corner or in a uh, spiral until it just sort of sinks down and down and more into the, uh, into the soup. Got some kind of longer noodles, so snap one of those. And just 
Keep on going, keep on going, keep on going. Because you just want them all submerged so they cook like relatively evenly instead of having like half of a noodle that's totally, you know, soggy and ready to, you know, take out and half that's still like firm and hard. And like me, me personally, I like a, uh, I like a firmer noodle. Break them in half. I mean, you know, that might be a smarter idea, but then you don't get those like big satisfying slurps, you know, like just, mmm, tasty. So, we've got that all set there. You want to stir it up oh, yeah. a little bit, <laughs> but not that much. But you want to keep it a bit stirred up so that the noodles don't just like stick to the bottom of the pot. Um, and then we'll leave this for a little bit here. We eventually are going to put our, uh, our bok choy in there too. Get in there, you. So for the egg, the protein that I'm going to use, well, we're done with this, so we'll put that to be washed later. Um, for the egg, we'll take that out of here. I'm just gonna slap it on there, grab a little knife, and I'm just gonna cut this into like thin little strands so it's easy to eat. Um, there's a knife. Uh, let's use this little guy. So again, gonna be tough because one-handed, but I think this knife's sharp enough that I shouldn't really need to uh, do more, so I'll just get a nice little cut there, nice little cut there. And if you're, you know, more of a fan of, of other proteins, like I said, this is just what I happen to have. Normally I'd use a, uh, like a meat of some sort and prepare it in kind of like a similar way and just put that in. But this is just the protein that we're, uh, that we're working with. So got that there. Got that there. There we go. So those are, if any, like even thicker maybe than I would have liked it. But you know what? It'll be fine. So I'm done with that. Put that in there for washing later. These. Another quick stir. Actually getting pretty soft already. So we should put our bok choy in here. So that kind of has time to uh, cook a little bit. So just grab some of these and shrink a little bit, because this is a big old leaf. We don't want to just be cramming that whole thing into our, our mouth. Put those in there, grab the rest. Put those in there. Uh, that's all good. For the uh, eggs, um, I'll probably just toss them in the soup already so they can you know, absorb a little bit of flavor, get extra tasty. Put those in there, that right there. These in there, those in there. Noise, coming along nicely, everybody. So we'll stir this up a little bit more, make sure the uh, bok choy is submerged, has a chance to cook up a little bit. This is very close to being done though, because like I said, I like kind of like a firmer noodle myself personally. So uh, we are just, wish you saw how I made the egg. I did, I was streaming then too, so it's it's really simple, like basically I just uh, just put the egg, like just cracked it into the pan here. Uh, well, first I put down butter, uh, just to melt so I have something that, you know, prevents it from sticking like crazy, although it's an older pan, so it kind of sticks a little bit anyway, but a little bit of butter on the egg makes it flavorful too. So I just put one egg in here, broke the yolk with the spatula, just like sort of stirred it all around in the uh, in the pan till it's just like a flat disc, and then I just uh, left it there on about, uh, about a uh, little bit lower than medium heat um, until it just sort of cooks up and solidifies, then just flip it over, turn it down to low, and then eventually off heat, and it just sort of solidifies into just like an egg disc. And then I just cut into little strands here. So it's, uh, it's pretty good. One egg, yeah. I mean, it, they're, they're very thin little, uh, very thin little slices. I don't know if I can get a good angle on that or not. Come here, you. See, they're uh, they're really thin little guys, so there's not a, there's not a whole lot of egg in there, but uh, yeah, just just one egg is probably good. You could do two, make a little bit of a thicker or more slices, and I probably have to use a bigger pan than that guy. It's more of like a one pan or one egg pan, but uh, yeah, not looking to uh, to totally fill up here. Just nice little nice little light-ish meal. So we got that. Pardon me as I taste test this noodle here, just to see. Mm. 
Mm. Little firm. So give it a bit more. It was almost there though. Very close. I mean, that was a thicker one rather than some of these other little guys. But, uh, so they're probably pretty good. But I could, I could take it out now, but we'll just wait just a little bit longer. We'll put our chili oil away. I actually don't even know if this stuff needs to be refrigerated, but we keep it in there anyway. Okay, we're just about, uh, what kind of noodles? Let me uh, grab them here. So uh, these are just again from my local Chinese grocery. So these Farke noodles, I think they're made out of, uh, I think they're made out of buckwheat. Um, let me see here. Uh, enriched wheat flour, whole egg, egg yolk. So they're kind of like wheat egg noodles. I thought they were buckwheat, but apparently they're egg and uh, egg and wheat. Don't refrigerate yours. Yeah, I don't know if it if it helps or not or makes any difference. Probably doesn't because you can just leave it with like you know your soy sauce and sesame oil and all that kind of stuff. But eh, whatever. My fridge is not exactly full, so. Let's keep it in there. Okay, I think these are pretty much good to go. Um, let's do one more little taste test here to see what's up. Mmm. Pretty much good, I think. Okay, so now comes the fun part of transporting all this into the bowl. Try and get you guys a good angle on that again using my handy dandy blender stand, which actually kind of, let me see here, stand right there. Okay, well, no sliding off. Okay, let me move the cutting board with this right there. Now you can kind of see it. Okay, so I'll turn off stove, very important step. Bring this right over here. Let me see. Here. Can I just move over a little bit? So now we got the uh, got our finished noodle soup here for the most part. We've got our soup base. We're just gonna slowly try and just ferry stuff over here without making a huge mess and splashing everywhere. This I'm definitely not the best at. Like people who are who are better with chopsticks than me probably have a better technique for doing this. But I just you know. Just grab a big bunch. Usually I'll try and do like either the noodles first or the bok choy first, not try and do too much of them to the, together because it's kind of hard to grab all of it at once. Get all that over here. A couple more bok choys. You know, I'm looking at it. Could have added more noodles. Definitely could have added more noodles. But maybe this will help me uh, from going into like a noodle coma here in the next half an hour because that always seems to happen because I always, always add too many noodles. So I guess I, I was trying to look good for the stream and not uh, not be Mr. Noodle Addict, although we still kind of are. Okay, so we've got all that. Got a few more noodles. A few more noodles. Looks legit. Yeah, dude. It's it's not that hard. Like it's as as is evident by uh, by you know watching the process unfold here. I don't feel like it's a very challenging dish. It's mostly just stuff you buy. You just, you know, boil the noodles and wash the bok choy and put stuff in a bowl and that's kind of it. But it's, it looks and tastes completely legit. Like this is one of my favorite meals and takes such little effort, at least in my books, to prepare. So like there's a few little noodle scraps in there. We'll probably just leave that like good enough. Put that over there. So now we've got everything assembled in our bowl. We just want to stir it up so we get the uh, seasonings and everything. Get some of those eggs up on top here. Make sure the uh, the broth is you know well well distributed. Get all the noodles soaking. You look at that color change. Oh, ooh, ooh! It looks good. Not to uh, not to brag or anything like that. <laughs> Oh my god, and it smells so good. Dude, the thing I love about uh, about cooking with sesame oil is that it just has such a like a like a aroma that just makes me hungry when I smell that aroma. I could be, have just finished like a five course meal and you give to me the smell of like, you know, frying sesame oil or or like sesame oil in a sauce and I'm like, just, "Okay, I'm hungry again. Time to eat." Okay. 
So now that's, uh, that's good and stirred up. It's not my most photogenic one. I feel like the eggs kind of make it a little bit less photogenic. But, uh, but yeah, that's, that's pretty much the process. That's it right there. So you just you know, grab a big old bite and just, uh, just chow down. Nom, 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 nom. But yeah, no, it's, it's good. So that, uh, that concludes this much requested, much, uh, much belated noodle soup tutorial. Hope you guys enjoyed watching because I'm going to enjoy eating this. Um, and we're going to eat that, clean up the dishes, probably hop onto the computer to do a non-IRL stream, I'll probably play some video games. Um, but yeah, that's, uh, that's going to be it for me because I'm going to sit down and enjoy this soup. So thanks for watching, everybody. Hope you, hope you liked it. We will, uh, we will probably try this again sometime, maybe with a different dish. Uh, I do enjoy baking a lot, and we're going to get some, uh, some mixers soon. So I am going to try and stream uh, making lemon squares. I have this really good lemon square recipe that we're going to put into practice. And then we'll try and figure out a better, uh, better camera setup, too, than just me walking around with my phone. But anyway, yeah, thanks for watching, everyone. And uh, we will see you guys next time. Bye.